Back in 2005, I was actually stationed or deployed to Qatar. It was a completely normal mission for us. We were not alerted for anything abnormal. It was in the middle of the day. Uh, I remember uh, coming into a base in Afghanistan called Bagram. Back in those days, it was pretty austere. It was an old Russian air base that we were using. Um, it's basically built in a bowl in the mountains where you have to stay high right up in the last minute, and then you basically come screaming back down to, to land. Uh, the area to the side of it was called the Valley of Death because during uh, the Soviet days with the uh, Mujahideen, they had fired their rockets into a lot of the uh, helicopters, so you could see all kinds of uh, wrecks and stuff in the valley below, which for the most part I didn't pay attention to because I was a little busy getting the airplane on the ground safely. Uh, we landed and uh, basically was told to taxi to the very end of the tarmac. And, and like I said, it was middle of the day, very hot. I remember that. We opened the doors and unloaded the equipment that we had brought in. Uh, and then we were met at the aircraft by uh, what we later on called the babysitters. But uh, they kind of introduced themselves and said, hey, no cameras. Uh, nobody's taking pictures here. We're uh, moving some high value stuff. Uh, when the load got there, uh, we're very, of course, uh, curious to see what it was, because that's just the way you are when you're told that you're not allowed to have uh, a camera. Uh, they say this thing had been dead for maybe a day or two, uh, but it stunk. And when I say stunk, I've smelled dead things before, but this had a more of a, I want to say a musky stink, kind of a, not really a decay decay, but more of a, if somebody hadn't taken a shower in like 10 years, type of a musty, uh, musky stink is all I can tell you. And it was basically a dead guy. And this guy was extremely large. And when I say large, uh, our pallets are basically, if I remember correctly, about 9 by 12 feet or so. This guy was laying in a fetal position on the pallet. Uh, so he and he filled the pallet. Uh, we estimated his size at approximately 12 to 10 feet tall. Uh, I did see his skin color. I was expecting somebody of uh, more Arabic descent, uh, being in Afghanistan and all. I know he was dead, but he was very pale, very white. Another thing that uh, us and the rest of the crew did was we took our feet. We, he was in a fetal position, so you could take your feet and put it kind of. You could see where his feet were there, and they were they were wrapped up. He did not have shoes on, but he had like. Uh, Looked like he was wrapping them in some kind of a canvas type stuff. But we were sticking our feet up next to his feet, and his feet were extremely big. We know that the, the standard weight on one of those pallets is uh, about 1,500 pounds. And I do remember that the loadmaster did the weights, and it was around.